Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Gomisati. Today we'll see one of the SQL tricky entry question. Okay, see this is what is the requirement. Okay, so this is my table. It is having one column that is post and it's having four records. Either SQL real time training, PLSQL developer training, Snowflake data engine, Python training. Like this is like one table. It's having four records. Either. So what is our requirement? You see this thing. Hope this is understood. Okay, see. So see if you are not able to understand, see this requirement. So requirement is what? Okay. First letter should be in upper case and remaining all should be in lower case. Okay, one more time. So what's the requirement? This is my input and what they're expecting. So they want first letter to be upper case and remaining all the cash should be in lower case. Okay, one more time. So this is my input. I want to get like this. Okay, so what's the requirement? Okay, only first letter to be upper case. So first letter in the sense like what here? S, here P, S, P. Okay, only three, like four things will get upper case and remaining all should be in Lower case. Let's say simple and thing, but what about it's a tricky one. Okay. Hope this is clear. Okay. So only first letter to be upper case and remaining all should be in lower case. Okay. So if you want to solve this requirement, you should have under better understanding of the following concept. So what are the concept? Okay. So see step by step. Okay. One is C test concept, backup table creation, select statement, data retrieval or data query language, upper and lower. These are the string functions. And in a similar fashion, what pipe and concat. These are used to concat any R club, any two strings. Okay. In a similar fashion, substring and init cap are these are what these are also string functions. So set of operators will see. Okay, so column alias. Okay, so if you want to solve this requirement, you should have better understanding of the following concept. What the concept? C test, select statement. Okay, these are the string functions and this union set of operators. Also. Hope this is clear. So before going like discuss later like some of the concepts we can able to discuss so that it would be easy to understand the concept. So first concept is what upper. Okay, upper is what it is a string function which converts. String into capital case or upper case. Okay, so syntax is what upper of string. Okay, what the string it will convert into upper case. Okay, so select upper of Pravin Kumar. This is what happens in mixed case upper and lower. Okay, what is the requirement? You'll get what? So what we're using upper functionality. It will convert entire string into upper case. Okay, so upper is what it is. It will convert everything into upper case in a similar fashion. Lower is what? Okay, same vice versa. See, it's a string function which converts string into small case. Okay, or lower case. Same syntax instead of upper, we write lower. Okay. So select lower of Pravin. Let's see what happened. Okay. P is upper case. So this is small mixed case. So what will get? Everything will get in lower case or small case. Okay. So lower and upper. Okay. So in a similar fashion, we'll see one more thing. What is the concept? Init cap. So it's a string function which converts the first letter of each word to upper case, other letters to lower case. Okay. See, if you see this example, you can get. So syntax is what? Init cap of string. Okay. So what is my string? My string is what? It's having two words. Okay, Pravin and Kumar are two words. Okay. So what it converts? See, it converts each word. See, which converts the first letter of each word to upper. See, Pravin is one word, Kumar is another word. So first letter in the sense like what? P and K. So it will convert in upper case and remaining all the things in lower case. So in it, what it will do? It will convert first letter of every word into a into a word, upper case and remaining cards into a lower case. Okay. So this is clear. Okay. So in it, okay. In a similar fashion, what sub str? Okay, name itself suggested. It's used to extract some part of the string. Okay, if I want to cut some part of string or extract some part of string, we should go for sub str function, sub string function. Okay, so syntax is what sub str the string. Okay, which string we want to get and from which position we want to start and how many cards we want to extract. Okay, one more time. So sub string is used to extract some part of the string. Okay, so suppose we see syntax is what the string which I want to pass. From which version we need to start and how many cards we need to extract. Okay, so see this thing example you get. Okay, so assume like snowflake. So this is my string and I want to get n word w. Okay, see one more time. So see what happen. Okay, numbering starts with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what they're expecting? They're expecting n word w. Okay, see, see the syntax. Select sub s t r o. This is our word. So what do we want? Okay, n word w. N is start to say string. We are passing snowflake. So from which position start position? So we want what n o w. Okay, from the second position we want to extract n o w three one two three. So second position we want to extract three cards. Okay, see one more time. So actual string from which position to start and how many cards we want. Okay, see in a similar fashion, snowflake we want n o w. So n o is n is start, starting from second position. N o w is what three. So two comma three. Okay, getting the points are clear so far. So like this we can able to get. Okay, like if I want to get, let's suppose if I want to get o w, we can able to. Three comma two. Okay, suppose we want to get n o. Suppose we want to get n o. We should use two comma two. Okay, how this is like? Substring is what it is used to extract 
some part of a string. Okay, hope this is clear. So in a similar fashion, what column alias? Okay, see, column alias are used to give a table or a column in a temp, like a table, a temporary name. Okay, so like a meaningful name, if I want to give, na, we should go for column alias. Alias are representing by column name more readable. So for if I want to get like more readable format, we should go for column alias. Okay, see, select column name. I want to put some name. name we can able to put as or without as. We can put some. Name. It's a temporary name for like uh, if, like suppose if we do some operation, if I want to put some name, we should go for column alias. Okay, this one will be used regularly in real time calls. Okay, column alias. As nothing but column alias. Okay. So getting the points, sir. Huh? Hope this is clear. Okay. In a similar fashion, what pipe symbol? Okay, pipe symbol is what? It is used to combine two strings. Okay, if I want to club two or more strings, we should go for either pipe or concat operator. Okay. So string one, syntax is what? String one, pipe symbol, string two. Okay. Suppose if see one example, you get some idea. Okay. So example is what PLS scale developer. Okay, what is the requirement? Okay, so this is one string, and this other thing, what they want, they want to get and ampersand also. Okay, how to get like this? Okay, PLS scale is one string, that's why you put single quotes, pipe symbol, single quotes, ampersand, pipe symbol, developer. Okay, so what this concept? Okay, see, if I want to club two or more strings, we should go for either pipe symbol or concat operator. Hope this is clear. Okay, get the point, sir. So pipe symbol is used to concat two or more strings. Okay. Into a single string. Okay. In a similar fashion, what we'll see union or union or is what one of the set operators. Okay. So it is used to combine two or more result sets. Okay. So see what happened. Select the Pravin name. So Pravin, this is name is what column alias from DL. Okay. So when you exit the string, what happened? You get Pravin in a similar fashion, Kumar. Okay. So this is one result set. This is one select statement. This is other select statement. I want to club into single select statement, single result set. We should go for what? Set operator. We set operator, we should go for union. So see what is the requirement? Okay. So when exit this thing, what happened? We'll get Pravin. When exit separate, we'll get Kumar. Okay. I want to club these two into a single string. We should go for what? Okay. By using what? Set operators. Okay. Pravin Kumar. Hope this is clear. Huh? Yes, no? So like if you want to club two strings, we should go for concat or pipe string. If you want to club two or more uh, select statements, you should go for set operators. Or if you want to do multiple op multiple table operations, you should go for joins. Okay. You should understand. Okay. Strings, concat. A result set, we should go for set operator. Joins, we should go for, uh, like tables, we should go for joins. Okay. Hope this is clear. In a similar fashion, what we'll go for CTS. Anybody know what is CTS? Okay, anybody? CTS is nothing but what? Create table, table name as select star from old table. See, see the syntax, we'll get some error. Okay. So create table, table name as select star from old table. Okay, this table, I want to create a backup table, we'll make use of CTS concept. Okay. Hope this is clear. So we'll get what definition plus data will get computer. Okay. So whatever whatever we're getting from this table, so same replica we can able to go for C task. Okay. Okay. Hope this is clear. Okay. I hope this is clear. Okay. Okay. Now we'll take the screenshot. Okay. So first take the screenshot. So remember, whenever you get any task note, take the screenshot. So we need to analyze. Okay. So take the same thing. Okay. Copy here. Now split this use case. So, so what happened? Okay, understand this concept. Okay, so split what they're expecting. This is my input. Okay, this is the output. First, we'll try to create this data as is. Okay. So now what happened? Go to UI. Okay. Anyway, I'll go back here. Okay. So see what happened. Okay. Try to create. Okay. Select star from there. Okay. It's having only one record. Okay. Now go back here. Okay. So what's the requirement? First, we need to put SQL real time train. Okay. So see this thing SQL. So same data as this data, try to put okay, real time training. Okay, training. Okay, so if you say execute what happened, you'll get one result set. Again, in a similar fashion, put semicolon. Okay, try to execute. Okay, four times again. Okay, so separately four times. Okay. Next one is what? Okay, PLS scale. So developer training. Okay, so PLS scale developer. Okay, so some as this data, try to put okay. So developer. Okay. Okay, in a similar fashion, snowflake, snowflake data engineer. Okay, so engineer, engineer. Okay, in a similar fashion, Python train. Okay. Slowly learn. Okay, like you should not be in hurry hurry to learn any new things. Okay, so see this thing. Okay, see what happening. So if exit separately, it is given separately. Okay, but what happened? Okay, I want to club. Okay, so see. I want to club all this one in a single result set. Okay, so see, 
this is one select statement this is a, so for select statement i want to club into single cell we should go for what concept just now we discussed that is nothing but set of operators so the result sets we should go for set of which set of operators should use we should go for either union or union or so i am using union or okay so union will club into single see what happen okay it will club into single result set okay take the same thing okay copy the same thing try to put here okay so same thing okay so in a similar fashion try to put okay so see what happen okay now we are getting all four into single result set okay now i want to get the name okay what the name we can able to put one name okay course so course okay see course okay now what happen okay i want to create a table okay anybody can able to tell how can i create a result set of this thing just now discuss we should go for c tas concept okay so create table table name okay so create table suppose i am putting pravin training table something okay we can able put any table okay training table okay table as okay see what happen okay so c tas create table table name as okay this is what this is a table name pravin table training table so course is the column see this thing what happen table has been successfully created okay see so column alias dual table set operators and c tas concept okay now what happen okay table has been populated now we'll see whether data is getting populated or not okay select star from table name okay see what happen okay data has been successfully populated clear so far okay now what's now see this requirement what they're expecting okay now we have populated the data as is okay somehow other we have populated now what are expecting they want to get first letter okay see s p should be upper case now somebody will try to see like, what happen okay like most of the people tried what okay by using init cap so init cap course okay so what are they expecting init cap is see when i put init cap what so each letter of every word see s upper case r upper case t upper case P upper case, D, D upper case, K. See what happen? Okay, first letter of every word to upper case. But what they're expecting? See this results use case. They want only first letter to be upper case and remaining cards so to be lower case. But init cap functionality what it will convert each letter to be S R T upper case. But what they're expecting only first letter. For this purpose what? Okay, like this is not simple. Thing. Okay, for this purpose what? So we need to expect first letter of every word. How can I expect first letter of every word? We should go for what concept? We should go for which concept anybody can ever tell them so we should go for substring functionality if i want to extract some part of the thing we should go for what substring functionality okay so step by step we should understand okay sub str okay one comma one okay it will like give first letter of error words see sp yes okay so clear so far now in a similar fashion what okay now i what is the requirement okay first letter to be upper case we should use what function we should go for either upper or init cap okay upper so what happen okay first task completed okay second task is what okay we want to extract remaining characters remaining is how can I extract remaining same substring first okay so we should use what sub str comma sub str okay bracket open bracket close okay so same thing okay so we should use course so from what cards from second character see from what come on from second character we want to extract second we want to extract all the things okay, so we should go for we can able to put two okay so comma two it will give all the things clear so far okay see getting the point from so from second it is given. okay suppose like you see confused now or else we can able to put okay so i want to get remaining cards to lower case we should use lower function okay lower okay lower bracket open bracket close so see this thing okay so so far good okay now what happen okay i want to this is separate see this is separate how can I club into single string we should go for pipe symbol or concat okay so getting the points are concat okay get the points are so see this is okay now they want to get proper name how to get the proper name okay they want what they're expecting they're expecting list of courses okay so same thing list of courses okay so but what happen okay when you have spaces you don't take we should use double quotes when you have when you want the spaces we should use double quotes for column alias you see first letter s p s p getting the upper case okay remain things so it's, it, it is looking simple but what happened it's a little bit complicated okay. so like this way we need to understand okay so so if you see here, what happened okay we have seen what are the concept okay we have seen c tas concept dual table column alias set operators okay in a similar fashion what okay init cap one function string function upper function substring function pipe symbol lower function column alias and a table okay so if you try to solve what happened almost like seven to eight topics are covered okay so that's it
try to solve this type of thing okay it's simple only but what little bit complicated okay so if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching